Hey everybody, welcome to the presentation and this one is a big one. It's finding your why. It's really important that uh, we spend a considerable time on this. This is so, so important, particularly at the start of your journey to get in a clear why. And the reason why is because motivation alone will not get the results that you truly want. And so many people are really relying on and hoping that motivation is going to get them through. Uh, to the results that they want and we all know we have no control over motivation uh, motivation is dictated to so many different th things within our lives whether we're stressed overwhelmed poor sleep not uh, not eating well uh, whatever it may be um, so we need to move away from relying on motivation how we're going to do that well, we're going to show you um, for some people this may be very challenging it might be some asking asking you to, to ask some questions that you might not necessarily want to um, answer, but um, that essentially they are going to get that clarity and that focus for you and get that very personal under re uh, reason why you're actually going through this process, putting yourself through this process and actually wanting to get to the results that you truly, truly want. So it is a big one. It's very, very important. So outcomes for this presentation so we can stop relying on motivation and get a clear and personal goal something that really matters to you so you when you are feeling under the pressure um, you still make good choices that are going to support um, your goals uh, setting up for success so once we have those clear intentions those real reasons why then we can take you on and help you uh, with some tools that you help you to implement straight away some of these changes that you need to start to make so the importance of finding your why now I mentioned some of them uh, and I'll go through some more um, it supports change you know finding that drive that real reason why you're doing this is going to give you the the opportunity to change uh, it gives a reason to push through hard times. So there will be challenging times. And when we hit them, we need a real true why to, to get through them. You stop relying on motivation, as we've said. It means something to you. So it actually means something that you, you do succeed. It's not a throwaway comment. You, you gain better results. And a big one, you enjoy the process more. This is a process. It isn't just something that's going to happen. You're going to go through a process of change over time. First of all, we've got to see what won't get you results. We hear them quite often. So vague and gen generic outcomes such as I want to lose some weight, a few pounds, doesn't mean anything. My doctor said I need to lose some weight, so someone else has suggested that you need to do something. And again, that has no real weight with it. It doesn't mean anything to you. I want to be healthier. What does that look and feel like? I have no idea. My friend or family member lost some weight, so I feel I need to. Again, someone else did something making you feel like you have to do something. Not very empowering at all. Um, I want to eat uh, what I want on holiday or Christmas, so I need to do something. So basically, you, you've got something coming up and it's an excuse to be able to eat some as much as you want. Again, a very weak and not very powerful at all uh, reason. I want to, to buy a dress or a pair of trousers in a smaller size. So all these things just don't really mean anything. They're very vague. They're very generic. Um, they have no uh, personality about them whatsoever and anything that's going to really resonate with you. So get personal with your why. And here's some examples. I want to be a role model for my children. So straight away, that means something. It doesn't mean just anything just for you, but it means the immediate people around you. You'll see that these, these kind of whys kind of open up other questions. I want to be a role model for my children. Why? Because I want to, them to see what health looks like, sustainable health, how to eat healthily so they eat healthily, how to be active daily so they're active daily. They can have you know, uh, a more active lifestyle. They're going to live longer. They're going to be happier. I want to be confident in all aspects of my life. So you might be, want to be, you know, a career that you want to be successful in um, all aspects. I, I, I know I can achieve more with my life and career with better health. I fear I need to be my best physically and mentally for my wedding day. So also, you know, big days within people's lives 
mean something to you. You want the wedding day to be the best day of your life. Uh, you may have a once in a lifetime opportunity to go and visit somewhere. So you want to feel and look your very best. I can no longer feel this way about myself. So people who are daily struggling. And again, that's a good one because it opens up the, the questions. Why don't you feel good about yourself daily? Well, clothes don't feel good. My confidence is therefore down. Um, and I, I don't feel like I can get into conversations with people at work. So therefore, my career is stalling. All sorts of things start to crop up from these questions. I no longer have confidence uh, when with my partner or when I go out. So the, again, a, a big one is like, how does that make you feel? Um, for, for instance, and there'll be many different instances within that question. OK, um, so these are very more personal to the individual. And like I say, they get you to go deeper and deeper, deeper into those reasons. So how do you find your why? So um, something that uh, I picked up from um, a, a few mentors that I've, I've worked with, uh, particularly one, uh, Tony Robbins, um, and it's the RPM formula and its results purpose and a map okay so results you ask the, yourself these questions what do i want what is my outcome what are the specific results i'm committed to achieving so these are very personal to you and it cuts it down what do i want what is my outcome what are the specific results i'm committed to achieving okay so open-ended questions what do i want and then you could have three or four things that uh, you want to list down underneath that. OK, what is my outcome? And then it starts getting to, to ask you, what does it look like? What does it feel like? Um, and what are the specific results? And it, uh, so that's a real nice place to start and some real good questions to start asking yourself. Then give it a purpose. Why do I really want it? What is my purpose slash goal? So then you can start saying, well, I want to be a role model for my family. I want to be able to be confident when I go out or with my partner or at work, whatever. I want to wear the clothes I want to wear. I want to be able to go on holiday and, and wear a bikini or a pair of shorts and feel confident on the beach. Get specific with the purpose, the outcome. Um, what specific actions must I take to make this happen? What is my massive action play? Uh, so then you can start to look at the specificness of how you're going to start to move yourself towards that. And obviously having a coach like myself or someone can help you and start to implement that is going to be very, very helpful. Um, but asking yourself this question alone is going to be helpful for you as well. You start taking a bird's eye view of your days and your weeks and saying, right, OK, what specific actions can I start now taking now that are going to move me towards this outcome and this purpose, this goal? OK. So some very um, powerful questions for you there. Um, also, other questions to ask yourself. Why does it mean so much to you that you achieve it? All right. A great, very, very powerful thing. And um, again, it's getting you to go deeper into and find the reason why. What pos positive changes will this goal bring to you and the immediate people around you? So then it's not just about you. It's the positive impact that it's going to have on the immediate people around you, family, friends, kids, partners. All right. Uh, when do you want to achieve this goal? So then cementing it into a time frame is also going to be very, very important. And again, a coach is going to help you with this. Um, but being realistic um, with that time frame. Um, and again, working with a coach is going to have someone who can be realistic around how much time you're going to need to get this very personal goal. Now, I wanted to put this in to help you kind of um, take this on a little bit and start implementing straight away. And it's called chunking um, or the rule of three. Uh, us as humans work very well in threes. Um, we can manage them. Uh, we can look at them and feel quite happy with working with three. Um, so what I want to do is take in an aspect of health and fitness and well-being. So you've got the nutrition area, you've got the training area, and you've got the lifestyle area. And within each of those pillars, you want to um, look at three things you're going to do to improve that pillar. 
And I've put an example here with nutrition. So within nutrition, you're going to put, and these, again, these are just examples that we've, you'll come up with your very specific ones. One hour a week, I will prep my lunches. Very simple, but very clear to the point, you know what you're doing. Number two, throw out any poor quality snacks, i.e. chocolate bars and biscuits, and you'll probably replace them for better quality snacks, such as um, uh, nuts, seeds, um, uh, berries, that kind of thing, or, or a, a better quality of snack. And number three, I will buy enough fruit so that I can eat at least two pieces of fruit per day. So you would do that with your new, your training and you would do that with your lifestyle um, goals as well. And that will work really well just to get going, start moving in the right direction. Now, if you're still struggling, um, there's a thing where if you ask yourself something five times, you'll start to get closer to it. Usually when I start asking people what they want to achieve, the first one is something very vague, like, oh, I just want to lose a few pounds. But if I ask them five times, I will eventually start to get into the true reason why. So if you're still struggling, ask yourself why five times to find your reason, your real reason, basically. Um, and you'll go deeper and deeper into those reasons and find out really why you need to make a change. So what pushes you to succeed? Um, these are just some very essential things that are going to push you towards success. Um, a progressive and consistent training program. We know this. A sustainable nutrition plan that supports health and well-being, not just losing weight, but supports your health and your well-being. A supportive sleep routine. You can't train. You can't move well. You can't eat well if you are sleep deprived um down time with family and friends that is essential that needs to happen uh, for your your well-being daily movement supports physical and mental growth so you know if you're finding yourself at a desk that all day humans aren't built physically and mentally to sit down all day if you're finding yourself you need to start plugging in times that you get up and move around daily reading is very very important uh, morning routine journaling, meditation. So there's just some things that we can start to implement straight from the off that are going to help you move forwards. And then you can just highlight some of the things that are currently holding you back and getting into the way of this newly uh, created or, you know, um, you've found your why, what you can start to get um, rid of. So some of the limiting beliefs that you may have, negative people around you, you want to start getting away from those people can be difficult if it's family or people you work with every day, but lower the, the, the amount of time that you may be spending with them uh, or interacting with them um, and just get around more kind of positive people. Poor quality foods, obviously, including snacks, which we suggested. Unsupportive routines, i.e. the weekends. Build in a better routine at the weekend. Um, and that should become easier when you've got a clear why. Stresses that you have not addressed. So we all have stress and we will have stresses. We're grown-ups, we're not kids. We will have stresses. But if there are certain stresses that you haven't addressed, go and address them and manage that stress. And I wanted to leave you with this little quote from Marcus Aurelius. If you don't have a consistent goal in life, you can't live in a consistent way. So let's get that why. Let's get that very deep, meaningful why and goal. And then you can become consistent. You're not relying on motivation and all that stuff that just isn't going to get the results that you truly want. So guys, I hope that's been helpful. If you're looking for the physical documents, start working on this way, please let me know and I'll be able to get that to you ASAP. Hope it's been helpful, guys. If you need anything else from me, reach out, let me know. Bye.